Hubson Zeno Mini Pro, first hand update. Got that coming up next. Build a Drone Reviewer here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night I hosted Rotor Talk Live and for part of the show I was joined by Mr. Marcus Crawford and Mr. Ron Braun. During part of the show we discussed Marcus's first-hand experience with the Humpson Zeno Mini Pro. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. Well you came at the right time because we were going, this is what we, this, this segment could not, not have been any more appropriate because and now, you know what I wanted to name this segment? Rainbow, lollipops, and sunshine. Okay? For our friend Ron Brown. For our friend Ron Brown, okay? Yeah. Because, you know, th this is what, you know, Hubson put out another video today, and, 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 it's, and it, it is rain rainbow, lollipops, sunshine, clear blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. Everything is fine with Hubson, and, but Marcus knows the real story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they did make some a, a lot of improvements with this recent firmware update. Uh, sadly, it's the video that is still lacking. And you know, what's the purpose of a uh, GPS camera drone? Is that camera. So, so that's a problem. I can say this, Bill. The issues that I had early on with disconnections, uh, and with features not available on the drone, uh, while not everything is there yet, uh, it's uh, they, they've turned a lot of stuff on, and I tested a bunch of it out today, and it's working great. The drone flies great. It just needs a camera and a gimbal. Yeah, well, you know, I, I went out to the, the group today, and I took a look at somebody, and he's talking about there's this blue bluish cast on, on, on his video. That, that I don't know if you've seen that or not. Yeah, um, that's been an issue for a while. Uh, with and and they did actually now you can manually adjust the white balance, so I suspect you could probably adjust that out of there. You know, bluish tint means it's a little bit cold, so you could probably adjust that out. Although, I want to tell you today, I just flew everything in full auto, right? Just to see. Uh, how it would go, but the, the main issue is there are still uh jello in the video, Bill. But yeah. just, it micro shakes in that gimbal, well, sometimes not even so micro, sometimes fairly big, and it causes that jello effect. Uh, and uh, boy, just the focus is not quite right, uh, the colors are not quite right, it's just it's just not there, Bill, and I and I. I hope they get it in, in one sense. It's kind of fun because I'm watching them improve the drone, just like we did with the original Zeno. You know, every time there's an update, it's something gets better. Right. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't know this camera. It's it's going to be a tough deal. We'll have to see. Yeah. You know, I, I watched I watched your latest video, which was which was great. And, and I knew you were going to do that. OK. I, I knew that. I mean, it was, I was kind of waiting on, on your being able to, to do that comparison. Okay. Um, which, which was inevitable, you know, but for me, okay, right now, all right. It's a no brainer between choosing those two, <laughs> you know, there's no, there's no, there's no choice, you know? Well, well, Bill, so you remember the original, well, in fact, you had a Zeno two and you, and you uh, sold it, but, but the, the original Zeno two, it had its own set of problems. Well, the Zeno 2 Plus is a pretty darn good drone. Uh, it's it's got a little bit of lens flare, uh, but beyond that, but man, the, the, I think the camera's pretty good. I you know it flies great. It, you know it's not as stable as this little mini, uh, but uh, but you know they refined it with that Zeno 2 Plus, and so I guess we're kind of in that same mode with this uh, Zeno Mini Pro. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like you said, I think in a note to me, WIP work in progress. I mean, this is what, the, it, it, now see, you know, for people like you, you know, and, and a lot of us out there, um, for me, I'm putting my eggs in the DJI basket, and I know that's 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 coming up. But, you know, it, it, it's, it, it takes people like you 
that have the patience of a saint to be able to run through this. Okay. Because I'm telling you, and, and I think, you know, Ron would agree with me a hundred percent, you know, you have the patience of a saint with drones like this, because, you know, you're, you're trying some of these $200, what, you know, you know what Brian Singleton calls them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and you have the patience to try these drones out and, and, and you're having the patience with this one. And, and, and that's, you know, and, and that's true. That, that really says a lot. Okay. And I think people Thank you. know that. Okay. And we really appreciate you're doing that. And I mean, Hey, when, when Rick Smith is asking you questions, okay. Boom. All right. Boom. Well, now, he I, wanted to know what my experiences were. And, and I wrote him a pretty long letter, just kind of outlying it, outlying it all. But I, I just want to touch on one thing that you said a minute ago you know, that you kind of stick with DJR. Well, it just so happened, or DJI, I meant to say, I just so happened today that I was doing some video with the Air 2S right after I flew the Xeno Mini Pro. And wow, (laughs) you just, what a difference. I mean, you know, that DJI drone is just so smooth and accurate and flies so awesome. And, And I was doing some testing with the, uh, with the uh, uh, Freewell uh, variable uh, neutral density X mist filters. And so I was in doing some precision flying under some trees and so forth. And uh, uh, it just was so easy with that uh, Air 2S. They just, they just really make it easy. Anyway, uh, yeah. you know, it, it, was just, it, it was just amazing the contrast between the two. That's what I'm yeah. trying to tell you. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, it, it's like, you know, it, it's like, okay, it's like going from driving, and, and let me put it to you in, in these kind of terms. It's like from driving a uh, Chevy Vega to driving a Chevy Corvette, okay? I mean, you know, and I'm sure you remember the Vega, okay? I know um, I, I drove one myself. I didn't own one, but I drove one. And, you know, I've driven a Corvette before too, and it's just like, you know, it's like, come on, seriously. And, and, that, and that's what – that's what this seems to be like. Um, an honest question for you, okay? Do you think, okay, that this was something that was avoidable had Hubson taken their time and waited to come out with this drone? Absolutely. I think they really made some missteps with the way they released this thing. This thing should have been way more refined before they had it out into the public. There's no question about it. And it's caused them a lot of problems with, I've heard rumors that PayPal shut them down because so many people were asking for refunds, a lot of issues that I'm sure if they could backtrack, they'd probably do differently. But but I'm glad you brought that up, Bill, because one of the things that I'm committed to right now, listen, I am as angry as anybody else that this drone was not ready for prime time. I paid a lot of money for it and I shouldn't be going through all this. But that said, what does it do just to complain about it, right? I was going to use another word, but complain about it. Yeah. Uh, but so what I've been doing is I've been uploading my flight logs to Hubson and and working with them on issues as they arise. And let's see if we can improve the product. I want to answer one question real quick. Uh, uh, Akarasho is asking me about the Zoom on the Xeno Mini. And yeah, it's still... It's still messed up. I tried it again today, and it's funny. The zoom, when you're looking at FPV, yeah, it crops right in at whatever you're zooming at. But when you look at the video off of the memory on the drone, it just doesn't do anything. So there's, oh, there's no man. zoom there at all. So I, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. just, you know, and, well, and, and thank you for your observation. And, and see, and I think... That's why people like you, Marcus. Okay, because you're not, you know, we're, you're 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 a multi drone fanboy. Okay, multi drone company fanboy. Okay, and like I am, and like Ron is. Okay, and so we hold no allegiance to these guys. Okay, which I think you know makes our reviews. That's why I think you know people will will look at your reviews at Ron's at mine's, you know, and and, and some other channels. Uh, that we have because they're honest, they're straightforward. And you don't, you know, you just, and, and as you, I think you said it, you know, I just present things to people 
and let them make their own judgments. Okay. I just show my experience, Bill. I show, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that Bugs 19 drone was a prime example. You know, it took me four tries to get a compass calibration and get it in the air. Well, I show that on the video because I figure if it happens to me, probably the average Joe that buys that drone is going to have a similar experience. And mm -hmm. so uh, just want to show the real deal instead yeah. of editing mm -hmm. it out. You know, and, and that's a good thing. And, you know, and it's like you said, OK, this is going to be a work in progress. And, you know, my advice for people that, you know, I would steer clear of the Xeno Mini Pro and also and, and you know what? And it kind of goes without saying, because Zeno is getting ready to unveil that SE. And, you know, I would steer clear of both of those drones for a while. Can I throw something out there on that one? Go for it. I, I'm not so sure, Bill. I'm not so sure I 100% agree with that. I suspect that that SE, because they haven't set the bar so high, it's got a smaller sensor. It's It it's, doesn't have obstacle avoidance. And a lot of those things that are using a lot of processing power on that drone, it may very well be the sweet spot. Uh, and in fact, <laughs> you're probably going to call me an idiot. but And I may be. I probably am, uh, but uh, but I I uh, I tried to order one last night on uh, Hubson's website. You can't do it because my understanding is that PayPal has cut them off. So uh -huh. they, when you go on Hubson Worldwide's website, they take uh, payment via PayPal. So I don't know if they're going to do something different or what. However, I guess my thought is. That drone, because it's not reaching out there so far, it might be pretty good. And I also want to add, Bill, when I tested all of the intelligent flight modes that they turned on today, they worked awesome. They, they all worked flawlessly, perfect. The, the tracking on that drone, it has both uh, 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 GPS tracking and optical tracking. Uh, the optical tracking is perfect. It holds you right in center of frame. Uh, works works perfectly so you know there are things that they do right yeah you know and, and and it's to be commended and and you raise some valid points with with the mini sc from 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 hobson so you know because it's not as you know you, you made a good point about you know the bars not being set here it's it's down here and i think it's and and your point is very well taken and, and i have i really agree with it you know it's much easier to hit that bar here then hit that bar up here kind of a and thing. of course we won't know until we see it so i don't right. want to mislead people and think that i know something because i sure don't that's just me speculating that's yeah sure. it's you're you're making an, a good uh, a good educated guess based on your previous experience okay right. which exactly. which which makes you know it, you know it, it 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 makes a lot of sense it really does to me okay um so you know stay tuned you know i'm sure you know, we'll find out what's going on, you know, and I did hear that. I did hear a little bit about that PayPal thing, which, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, I got my money back ASAP when I asked for, from Hubson US, it was in my PayPal account, like within five hours. Okay. It was fast. It got back there fast. So, you know, kind of, yeah. kind of stay tuned on, on that one. Question of the day. What do you think of Marcus's firsthand experience with the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.